हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकंड दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम डिस्क्रीट मैथ्स एंड दिस क्वेश्चन बिलोंग्स टू इक्विवेलेंस रिलेशन टॉपिक द क्वेश्चन इज अ रिलेशन आर इज डिफाइंड ऑन ऑर्डर्ड पेयर्स ऑफ इंटीजर्स एज एक्स कॉमा वाई रिलेट विद यू कॉमा वी If x less than u and y greater than v, then R is what type of relation is this? There are some options given: neither a partial order nor an equivalence relation. Partial order but not a total order. Total order and equivalence relation. In order to solve such kind of question, we must know what are the characteristics of these type of relationship. So here one of the very common relation which we usually study in discrete math or in set theory that is equivalence relation what characteristics contained by equivalence relation is usually there are three categories three characteristics is one is reflexive second is symmetric third one is transit transitive a relation r on a set a is said to be an equivalence relation when that relation satisfy these three properties what is reflexive property is when a relation contains a comma a and that is belongs to r for example a set a contains the value 1 comma 1 that means this relation is said to be reflexive where the values of the first and second element is equal next symmetric a relation is said to be symmetric if a comma b belongs to r and b comma a also belong to r there is a relation where exist the set a comma b also exist b comma a then this type of property called the symmetric property next transitive a relation is said to be transitive when a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r and a comma c is also belong to r this kind of property is a transitive property when a relation having these three properties is called an equivalence relation so according to our question there is a relation between x and y relate with the u and v in order to satisfy the reflexive property of an equivalence relation we know that the value of the x and u should be same because that's what we are saying that 1 comma r in a relation and 1 comma 2 is also in relation when x and u value is equal then we say that this relation is satisfy the reflexive property and this comes under the equivalence relation and then we will satisfy the other properties as well for example symmetric and transitive so one thing is clear about this that this is not an equivalence relation so the options we can eliminate here is the fourth option an equivalence relation because we know that this property is never going to satisfy the equivalence relation characteristics now let's check the another types of relation that is partial order what is the meaning of partial order is when a relation satisfied with the reflexive weak or non strict partial order commonly referred to as a simply partial order what does that mean when a relation satisfied the reflexivity anti symmetry and transitivity and we know at the first place that this type of statement is never going to satisfy the reflexivity of a relation that means it will not comes under the partial order relation as well as under the equivalence relation so we can directly answer this question with the help of first option that this relationship is neither satisfy the partial order nor an equivalence relation so the correct option for this question will be option number 1